lack of seed capital, malfunction CT scan and inadequate personnel are part of the mirage of challenges facing the Upper West Regional Hospital. Rafiq Salam has been following up on the new regional hospital and our reports. The over $53 million state of the art Upper West Regional Hospital was commissioned by President Ekufo Adu on the 18th of August last year. A tariff started operations on January 10, 2020, with renowned orthopedic surgeon Robert Amesie as the acting medical superintendent. We began operations as a secondary level facility. It means patients have to first of all go to other primary facilities and get referred here. So between time January and the 17th of April, about 320 patients have been referred from various municipal and district hospitals to us. So what we began with was to solicit support from our sister hospitals to get some consumables to begin operations. It's been four months since they started operations and Dr. Amesia described it as a major success. We've also been able to conduct 170 surgeries in the period. And then we know that if we had not been established to do this, these patients would have had to go elsewhere to get the services that uh, we were able to provide. So if out of 320, only 11 people went out, I think our establishment has not been in vain. We have been doing what our mandate stipulates us to do. We've been able to uh, be able to manage 309 people that were referred from lower level facilities to us. Despite the fee dropped, they still have some rough edges which is hampering the spoof operations of the hospital. Dr. Robert Amesia tabled the challenges to Deputy Health Minister Dr. Bernard Okoboy when he toured the facility as part of his recent visit to the Upper West region. You know, for every institution, for you to germinate, you need some amount of money to begin operations. There were preparations to get us the seed capital. Unfortunately, the COVID pandemic came in and it took the attention to that level. So we are happy that the Deputy uh, Health Minister has come. We've reminded him we also need a seed capital so that we can you know, approach all other conditions, including the COVID pandemic that we are currently having. We have other issues of um, electricity. I'm sure most of you in your homes, you see how the power fluctuates sometimes. Unfortunately, here, there are machines that are very, very expensive, life-saving machines. So if we don't do anything about the power situation, some of the machines we have installed here may not last up to their lifespan. But we need something to be done to get us a dedicated line that will not fluctuate as much as we are having now. Dr. Okoboy has this response on the seed capital. If you build a hospital and you don't have seed money, it's difficult to start it. And this seed money is money you must allocate and disperse to the facility so that they can buy the infusions, buy the anti-snake drug, buy the things that people will need. Because remember, this is not a private hospital. It's only private hospitals that will be taking care of you, take care of their cost, and then try to make profits. For this place, there is a social element. And that's why the seed money issue is important. Um, that issue to be discussed with my boss, the Honorable Minister, and I believe strongly that we will do our best to support the hospital. He then waded into the issue of CT scan and inadequate personnel for the hospital. Because of the levels of radiation, there are a few things we have to do here to make it possible for the staff to use it. They started using it, but the radiation levels were not um, uh, advisable for human, human um, use. What is the lesson here? The lesson is that you can even have your equipment there, but testing will show that it's not even fit for use for now, not that it's sport, but you need to get other infrastructure in line or in place. And I'm sure these are things we'll work on with the contractors to make sure that our CT scan in the War Regional Hospital can be applied so that we don't get people going to Tamale or other places only because they need a CT scan. Reporting for the news, Rafik Salam. Wow.